Hey everybody, I'm Jesse Peck, and I'm happy to say that uh, with the original founding member of the uh, Legendary Spinners, which I'm happy to be a part of, Mr. Henry Fambro is here with me, and we're actually taking a break right now. We're in the studio working on our new album. Life couldn't be any more exciting uh, at, at this point. Uh, for me, you know, this is a fantastic thing. Uh, for Henry, I'm sure it's something he's done over and over and over again. <laughs> and, and, uh, we got the hits. You got the hits to prove it. You know, we're we're in the uh, we're close to Detroit. We're close to uh, Motown, where right, right, your right. first uh, hit came out. Uh, it's a shame, right. man. That was like fifty years ago, man. It that was, was crazy. Yeah, it was <laughs> fifty years ago. It was fifty years ago. I'm it, just thirty five years old. You just also how could that be possible? <laughs> Can we do the math on this here? <laughs> yeah. uh, but no, it, it, it's just awesome. It, it wasn't long ago, uh, don't worry. So maybe it was a, a long time ago, but the hits have continued uh, to roll out after then, man. Yeah. How do you, are you excited right now? I'm always uh, excited in studio? because um, I wanted to be a jet pilot when I first, you know, when, when I graduated from high school. But uh, I got a bad left eye, so I couldn't be a pilot, so... I became a singer, <laughs> and I, I, you know, I've been singing for all my life. I, my, well, I first started in, in, a, in, in a choir in, in my church, you know, and so um, that's been going on year after year after year, and I, I enjoy it. And uh, we started the Spinners with the Domingos back in 1961. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've been going ever since, you know. Wow. So, let, me, uh, let me ask you if, if I can. If you can, I, I need you to, because I didn't know if our feelings are matching here. You woke up one day, and the first song that, uh, the first hit you guys had uh, with Motown, it's a shame. You wake up one day, and it's number 20 mm -hmm. on the Billboard charts. Right. And you're number four on the R&B oh, charts. Chart, right. did, you, did you feel like, at that point, that the spinners had made it? Did you feel successful? Did you no, know? because, uh, you know, we've been trying so long. Mm. And we, we've we been with Motown uh, well, a long time, man. Mm. So we had mediocre hits out there. Okay. But every time we get a mediocre hit, then we always say, well, just have to stick with it, you know. Mm -hmm. So when It's a Shame came out, and, and Stevie Wonder was a good friend of ours, you know. And he told us, that, man, I, I got a hell of a song for you guys, you know. And we recorded It's a Shame, and it stayed on the shelf for almost a year. They didn't put it out, so we we went, had to go to Barry mm. because the, the, the woman that, that was handling all that stuff, she was she was a, she was a whole, you know, and uh, I won't say the first first part of it, <laughs> but, <laughs> but uh, we didn't get along that good. But uh, we had to go to Barry, and when they put it out, thing took off. Wow! And what happened? See, we had been with Motown so long till our contract ran out when our hit came out. Okay. So when it's a shame came out, we we left Motown mm. and, and so, went to and Arista. Well, well everybody uh, wanted Atlantic rather. Well, we uh, Aretha Franklin is the one that uh, recommended Atlanta Records because we did yeah. a lot of tours with her, you know. Right. And she told us, she said, "Look, if y'all want to look up for a nigga record company, y'all should check out Atlantic because they treat me real good." You oh, know? Uh, so and she the one recommended. And then the hits just kept coming after that. Uh, one after another, yeah. after another, after another. Is there is there anything that you would change or do differently, or do you think everything uh, was in divine order or went? Well, just everything was in the divine order because uh, I think if this had to happen while we while we was at Motown, mm -hmm. I don't think we would have uh, you know was so far that we got now because uh, things wasn't right there. You know, so okay. that, that, that was a good college for yeah. We learned a lot there. Yeah, what not to do. And know? the world needed spinners. They needed the spinners. And we needed the world. So, yeah. Yeah. Right. So it's a perfect <laughs> match. And now here we are today. Uh, doing the same thing. Uh, we're about to come out with another album. Uh, we're wrapping up, putting the final details on that right now uh, before Mr. Preston Glass puts his magic uh, dust on it as well. Right, so right, right. This should be out real soon. Looking forward to that. And I'm hoping everything falls in line so that we're on the disco mm -hmm. cruise and enjoying the new album with our fans right. and, and our friends once again. So okay. I'm looking forward to that, too. That's all yes. mine. I'm, I'm excited to be in the Spinners. I'm excited to be a part of this family along with the rest of the guys, along with CJ, Ronnie, you mm -hmm. know, Marvin. We, we're just happy uh, to be sharing this part of the journey with well, you. Well, you know, we, we're all friends. That's the main thing.
That's real important. We're going to get out of here. We got to get back to work. Uh, we love you guys. We're looking forward to jamming and partying on the disco cruise, baby. You know it. We'll see you there. Bye. Bye-bye.